ओके अनदर क्वेश्चन वट कुड बी द रीजन बिहाइंड राइट फेलियर इवन वेन सफिशियंट स्पेस इज प्रेजेंट इन द क्लस्टर सो दिस इज अ गुड क्वेश्चन गाइज दिस इज काइंड ऑफ टेस्ट यूर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ यू नो एच डी एफ एस so so the question is basically let's say you have a cluster right sdfs cluster and you have sufficient space available in that cluster let's say your cluster is of 10 data nodes okay and every data node let's say has a uh, uh, sufficient space left so total if you see in your cluster let's just uh, for the sake of example let's say you have total 2 uh, gigabytes of space present in your cluster right together on the 10 data nodes and you are trying to write a file of let's say uh, 500 megabytes and still it's failing so what could be the reason behind that failure what what possibilities are there why your write could fail anyone all right so guys uh, do you remember uh, we talked about sdfs federation why was federation introduced Rajesh is saying if node is down. So Rajesh, which node you are talking about? Whether name node or data node? All right, name node. Yep, that's right. If name node is down, obviously everything will fail. You will not be able to read or write. But but now let's say you are able to read, but you are not not able to write. okay samir is saying kumar is saying name node is not taking signal from data node so kumar uh, if name node is not uh, taking signal from data node in that case name node will de will declare that data node as a dead node right and it will just kind of remove that data node from the cluster but your uh, remaining cluster will will stay up right it will keep functioning so that cannot be the reason behind your uh, write failures yep uday kumar is saying name node is not having enough space to write metadata that's the right answer so uh, uday kumar that's that's one of the right answers i would say so guys we talked about federation right and we said basically federation was introduced to handle a case where your name node has gone out of memory so your name node does not have enough space to store metadata right so that could be one reason right you your data nodes have enough disk space on them right to store data but your name node does not have enough memory left to store the metadata so in that case your write is going to fail correct does that make sense guys that's that's an important concept so that's why i want to spend some time on this question right guys so if your name node has gone out of memory or or maybe it does not have enough memory to write metadata of the new file that you are going to write then your write will fail all right so any other reason uh, can you think of any other reason why your uh, write would fail so let's say now your name node has enough memory also okay and uh, your data nodes have let's say total 2 gigabytes of space right there are a lot of data nodes and total 2 gigabytes of space is there but still you are not able to write any file all right so we did not discuss this uh, another reason so let me let me uh, tell you guys so another reason could be now just think about it we talked about block size right we said that whenever you want to write a file the system will divide the file into blocks of 128 megabyte each right and then those blocks will be written on the data nodes so one block will go to multiple data nodes depending on the replication factor 
but if your block is of 128 MB, you need at least 128 megabytes on a single data node, right? Now there is a possibility that you have, let's say, uh, uh, 20 data nodes in your cluster, right? You have 20 data nodes in your cluster. Every data node has 100 megabytes of space, right? Every data node has 100 megabytes of space. So total in your cluster, you have two gigabytes, but still none of the data nodes has 128 megabytes free. Right, so you cannot write a block to on any of the data nodes, a complete block. Does that make sense, guys? So this is kind of you know these are kind of interview questions that you will get. So I mean, uh, the uh, thinking about the other way is pretty simple. If I tell you that uh, you know you have twenty data nodes and every data node has hundred megabytes of space, and you are trying to write a file, what will happen? It's easy to a kind of guess or figure out that your write will fail because you do not, do not have enough you know uh, space on any data node where you can write a complete block right but the reverse is a little bit difficult to think so when i tell you that you are not able to write what could be the reason that is a little bit difficult to think right i hope guys uh, you understand both these reasons. What could be the reason behind behind write failures? Cool.